Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, y'all, today, y'all remember last weekend, I got some nice, beautiful squash at the farmer's uh, fruit market uh, with my mom. And on the way back, we were discussing how we grew up eating squash dressing. So that's what I'm going to make. I'm going to make me some old school, old school uh, uh, squash dressing. It's very similar to regular dressing. Only thing it has no no meat in it. It's gonna have just squash in it. I'm gonna make a rich, rich chicken stock. Not a chicken broth, but chicken stock. A broth is just chicken throw in the pot with some onions and celery and boil it. A stock. I'm actually gonna brown the chicken off about 30, 45 minutes. Get a good color on it, and then uh, put it in the pot with the celery and onions. So right now, all I'm gonna do here. Got my uh, chicken here. My chicken in here, y'all. I'm gonna put this in the pan. Put a little olive oil over. Put a little oil over it. So the uh, salt and pepper stick up to it. Put a little salt and pepper on it. Okay. Put a little salt and pepper on here. And I'm going to put it in the oven about 30, 45 minutes. It don't have to be completely done because I'm going to boil it in the stock later on. So all I want to do is just get some nice, good color on this here chicken. Now, while this is baking off, I got my cornbread. I baked this off two days ago to let it really, really dry out, y'all. See my cornbread here? To let it really dry out. And then I'm going to dice my celery, onions, get that diced up, and get my carrot, I mean my uh, squash all prepped up. So I'm going to do all that while my chicken in the oven browning. So when we come back, I'm going to show you how to make the stock and bring this thing together. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Okay, you can see I got a little color here on my chicken. See that? I just wanted a slight little color on the chicken. Now, what I'm going to do here, let me move this over here. I'm going to uh, put it in this pot and let it simmer an hour but I'm gonna let this uh you want to see all that oil that come off of that too look at all that oil I'm not gonna use no you don't want that in there okay I got my celery and onions yeah I know I don't like celery but only time I eat celery is in dressing so I got celery and onions I'm gonna put in here this is gonna be the stock for the dressing you know I don't when I make dressing 95% of the time, I don't want no, uh, this right here, 95% of the time, I don't want no uh, store-bought stock. So I'm going to fill it up with water here. I'm going to put some bay leaves in here. Water here. Stock gonna be real flavorful. That's the key to you any dressing, y'all. Whether it's regular cornbread dressing or or uh, squash dressing. And I'll put a little salt and pepper to this. Turn this on. And like I said, y'all, I'm gonna let this simmer about an hour. Should be enough stock right there. And that's gonna reduce by about three quarts. I'm gonna move y'all back over here. Okay. And y'all see uh I got my cornbread, I already broke it up in the bowl. And my squash, I already cut that up. And I'm going to do my squash in a separate pot. I'm not going to boil my squash. I'm going to saute it in a little butter. Olive oil. Really, really down. And then I'm going to fold it into the dressing uh, when I get ready for it. So anyway, we'll be back here in the next step when the stock is ready. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we back here. Moving right along here. Let me show you my stock here. See that nice rich stock there? Look at that. 
gonna be awesome stock here. Okay, now while that's simmering there, this is pretty much ready to stop. I'm gonna get my squash cooked. I don't want no crunchy squash in my, I got my skillet heating up here. And I'm gonna cook this squash down. Cause I don't want no crunchy vegetables in my dressing. I want everything to be nice and soft and the same level of a, uh, of a uh, crispiness. So what I'm gonna do, add a little salt and pepper to this. You know I season everything. A little bit more. And I'm gonna let this cook down completely till they get really, really soft. And then we're gonna put this dressing in together. I got the, uh, and you see I got my cornbread already here. I got my eggs I'm gonna put last minute. To, that's what's gonna bind the whole thing together. And that's pretty much it, y'all. So I'm gonna step off here, let my squash cook down. And I'm gonna be back and we're gonna put this thing together, y'all. We'll be right back. Okay, y'all, we are back here. The squash is almost ready. I got it cooked down as far as I want. Like I said, I don't want a crunchy, I don't want crunchy squash in my uh in my dressing, y'all. I want it to be cooked down. And that's pretty much what I want right here. Okay. Now let me turn this off, put this over to the side. We're gonna move our stock, a homemade chicken stock, bring it up to the front. Okay, now, now we're gonna be on this uh, dressing here. Let me take these, uh, these chickens out of here, y'all. I'll take the chicken out of here. Let me see, y'all, see what I'm doing here. Get my fry off like that. Okay. This chicken, I'm gonna eat later, y'all, with my <laughs> with this dressing. Nice boiled chicken, shoot. It'll be a good side dish with this, this dressing here, y'all. Put that right there. Yeah. And we got this nice stock here. I'm trying to get these babies out of here, y'all. I don't want no babies in my dressing. I think I put three in here. I got four in here, y'all. One more here. Let's see, where are you at? There we go. There we go. Got it. All right, now. Now I'm going to peel this dress in here. What I'm going to do? Put my stock in here. And this is a good vegetarian dish, y'all. People that can't eat meat. Perfect vegetarian dish right here, y'all. All that, that juice to soak right up in that, that dressing here. Nice, flavorful stock here. Got the onions and celery already in it. Like I say, you can taste them, but you can't fill them. Meaning they're not crunchy. I hate eating dressing, and you just feel the crunch of the, it's just not cooked. The, the onions and celery not cooked. I, that's one of my big pet peeves. Big time. You have to be cooked, that stuff. Okay. Now. Now, we're going to move over here to the front here. Got that. I'm going to have to add some more stock maybe later here. Let me move y'all over here. And let you show what I'm doing here. Move these eggs to the back. I'm not ready for them yet. Okay. Now, we're going to add all this squash in there. Put all this squash right up in there, y'all. So that's the item of the hour. Squash dressing, y'all. Squash dressing. That's what we got here. Okay. Now we're going to fold this squash in here. Look at that. And y'all probably thought there was too much squash, but it's not. It wasn't. Look at that. And you probably thought it wasn't going to fit in the bowl, too, didn't you? 
But look at how pretty that is. I'm gonna add a little bit, I'm gonna taste it, and then after I taste it, I'm gonna add my eggs to this. And I wanna add a little bit more stock, cause like y'all know, I don't like a dry dressing. I do not like a dry dressing, y'all. Okay, add a little bit more stock. This cornbread is definitely gonna soak up all that stock there. Look at that, look at that, y'all. Okay, now, I'm going to check my seasoning for salt and pepper. Put a little sage in here, too. First, I got to put a little sage. Put just a little sage in there, not much. A little sage in there. I forgot about that. It's going to give it that Thanksgiving-type flavor. Don't over, don't over sage it, y'all. What is that? Is that a... Is that a is that a, a word? Oversage it. Okay, now let me get my fork here and taste it here. See if we need seasoning. Oh yeah, definitely a little bit more salt and pepper. Not much. Remember, the cornbread had salt and pepper in it. I seasoned the stock. I seasoned the uh, squash. All that good and seasoned, y'all. You didn't need, I didn't need much more. Okay, let's see here, y'all. See here. Oh, yeah, I think that's it, y'all. Now, we're going to add our eggs to this. This egg is what's going to bind it. It's going to make it, you know, firm up for us. Fold eggs in. That's what you want. Nice, juicy. Because <clears throat> when it cooks, it's going to firm up. It's going to be nice and moist dressing. See that? Okay. That's what you want, y'all. Now, let's get my casserole dish. Definitely spray this already so it don't stick. Pull this in here. Move it around. And what we're gonna do, we'll cook this thing uncovered for about 35 to 40 minutes. And that's gonna pretty much be it, y'all. So when you come back, you're gonna have a nice moist juicy squash dressing so stay tuned we'll be right back okay y'all we back here okay fresh out the oven here y'all i'm not going to let this cool down we're going to scoop this right now y'all see how moist that is see how moist that is i like that little crunchy edge and i'll slightly slightly undercook mine y'all because later when i warm it back up it won't get as dry. Let me show y'all something here. See that? Perfectly moist. That's why I do not understand, I never understand why people put cream of celery, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken soup in dressing. Why? It makes us, you will never see me use that on this channel. I don't understand. You don't know what's in that stuff. I see that many people recipes. But anyway, let me, let me taste this here. I ain't know it's good, but it's hot, y'all. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. It's so good, y'all. Look at that. See, the squash is perfectly cooked. Let it cool off a little, y'all. <laughs> mm. mm, mm, mm. You can taste the celery and onion, but you can't fill them. You know, they're not crunchy. You ever ate dressing, or somebody dressing where well, the onions and celery is so raw inside, they didn't cook them down, boil them down? I don't like that. So, anyway, y'all, this is a good side dish. You can make it, but I said it was vegetarian earlier, but it's not with the chicken stock. But you can do a vegetable stock. And this is a good, 
A perfect size, yeah. Hmm? Perfect size, yes, y'all. But anyway, that's a little video I want to share with y'all. I ain't know if y'all uh, ever heard of this or not. My mama used to put this on the what we call steam table growing up in the cafe. And she would do this throughout the year. This is not only for Thanksgiving, nothing like that. This is a year-round dish. And like I say, y'all, I cook this for 45 minutes. You can let it go a little bit longer. I do not on purpose because what I do, I'm going to cut this in squares. And I'm going to, uh, uh, what do you call it, vacuum pack uh, uh, the, uh, the food saver. I put it in my freezer. And when I want some, I'll take it out and I'll warm it back up. And with a little chicken stock in the bottom of the pan, and then it cooks a little more. So I don't, I just slightly undercooked it because, I mean, they could go another maybe 10 minutes. But, it, you know, you can still eat it. It's ready. But, yeah, just letting y'all know. That's just a little tip if you want to bake a big pan. The next day, cut it out in squares, put it in your little food saver bags, and put it in your freezer, label it. You always have dressing year-round. I do that a lot. So, anyway, let me close this video out. If you like this video, please share, please comment. Please follow my other social media account. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, Pinterest, and oldschoolsoulfood.com. Remember the hashtag 2021. Help somebody, old school soul food. Until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Love y'all.